Happy New Year! This is my first video of 2018. So a few things have happened um, while I had my mini, I don't know, two week break off YouTube. As Christmas was, you know, a little bit hectic so I just, I just needed a bit, a bit more time to just recover from all that. Uh, but we're good, we're back. And so one of the things that I did a couple days ago in fact was I saw Hairspray live. Now for anyone who does not know, Hairspray is my favourite musical and it has been my favourite musical since the film came out in 2007. Saw the film, fell in love with it and off the obsession went. And so a couple days ago I actually saw it live for the first time ever because as far as my knowledge goes the only time it has been in the UK is just after the film came out there was all the hype around it it was in the West End but I live in Plymouth which is many many miles from London <laughs> and I was only about 12 or so so it's not like I could just pop up to London on my own and see it but the show started going on tour last year and this week it has made it to Plymouth which is where I am again now and I saw it. So in this video I'm just I'm just gonna be talking about that I'm gonna be talking about the show itself and uh, what happened with my personal experience of seeing the show I'm not gonna lie it's gonna end up on a bit of a rant here <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the good stuff the show itself was amazing absolutely phenomenal I was so worried they would not live up to my expectations because like I said it's been a, like a 10 year wait that I've been wanting to see this live but it was amazing the cast were brilliant the songs were brilliant and I also just want to take this moment to just mention one particular cast member the man who played seaweed is called Leighton Williams and he was just off the scale amazing this guy sang run and tell that with flawless vocals belting it out perfectly while doing a full-on dance routine which was beyond impressive but then you get to the end of you can't stop the bee and the guy only does just eight backflips just off each other the whole way across the stage and the whole way through i'm sitting there like i swear i recognize this guy i'm sure it is this guy i swear i know him i mean not personally but you know recognize him from other things and then i googled the cast as we're walking out of the theater turns out it is who i think it is and then i'm just like whoa this guy's amazing and i totally know him from other things go to the stage door have a massive fangirl right in front of his face really embarrassing but I don't even care because I was just telling him how amazing he was because I feel like when someone is that talented they they need to know I don't know if he is aware of how talented he is I mean you've got to have a certain confidence when you're a professional performer I guess but just when someone deserves a compliment you've got to tell them and he was so so lovely and so so beautiful <laughs> he just he just needs to mention here and I even got a picture with him, I got him to sell my program and it was just a really magical moment. Having said that, I also met a bunch of the rest of the cast and they were also really really lovely but I just, I need to mention how amazing Leighton was because he was amazing. Next thing I want to mention is the merch. They had some really really good merch. It's usually generally kind of naff when it comes to shows on tour other than like the bog standard logo across um, the t-shirt or hoodie or whatever it is they sell. They generally don't have much stuff but the Hairspray tour had a big load of stuff all of which is actually in the back of my souvenir brochure which yes was one of the things I bought. They got like keychains, the soundtrack, magnets, there are two different types of brochure. You had the big one with all the pictures and stuff and the smaller one with more sort of informational type stuff. They had a bunch of different t-shirts, they had mugs, they had flasks, they had loads of stuff. So yeah I bought the program which I'm really happy I did end up buying because I got obviously all the actors afterwards to sign my program which was really great. I got myself a nice new mug because I don't have enough of them and it says hairspray tour. It's currently filled with tea so I can't show you that well. And of course I can't go see a show without buying said t-shirt for said show. And I will admit the one thing I'm kind of disappointed that they did not sell was a can of hairspray <laughs> I mean the show is called hairspray 
It's got actual product placement within the show. Why don't they sell as a company Ultra Clutch Hairspray as merch? That is a can of hairspray that I need in my life. Ultra Clutch. Someone make this company. But anyway, um, okay, so before I go on to my next point, I want to stress that the show was absolutely amazing. Thoroughly, 10,000 times would recommend it. Absolutely amazing. Brilliant. However, the two women who are sitting next to me for this performance, I have had people like that sitting next to me in other shows I've been to. No one, however, has been quite as bad as the two hours next to for Hairspray. <laughs> they talked through every single song, and I don't mean just quietly, quietly whispering to each other, I mean just chatting, having a conversation. Not even about the show, they were chatting about their sister's wedding or their mates or just stuff that really, really could have waited. They were also singing through some of the songs, which I did not appreciate. They were opening packets of sweets and rustling and just eating them like every other song. They were cracking open cans and drinking through the performance. And I swear, by the end of this show, the self-control that I had to keep myself from straight up punching them in the face, I feel quite proud of, if I'm honest. So, point number one, you do not talk through a performance. I do not give a crap about your conversation. None of the people sitting near you give a crap about your conversation. And the actors on stage who are performing for you right now do not appreciate your conversation. It is really, really rude. No one wants to hear it. I have paid for my seat to sit there and watch the performance. I have not paid to listen to you. Number two, nor have I paid for your singing. I really could care less about your singing. On the whole, the singing was fairly quiet and it was only the odd line, which I would say I was happy for, but I, I didn't want any lines, if I'm honest. I didn't pay to sit in my seat and listen to you, tone deaf lady, sing in my ear. No, no, I paid for the professional performers on the stage. That's what I paid to hear sing. On to the sweets. Are you really that much of a pig that you can't go one hour without stuffing your face and noisily opening sweet wrappers every couple of seconds and the bag itself rustling so at some point I couldn't even hear them talking on stage. You clearly cared more about eating the sweets than everyone sitting around you and the fact that they have paid to watch this performance. Same applies to the drinks. It, w it wasn't the fact that it was just drinks, it wasn't even just a little bottle of water. There were cans. You were cracking open cans. Are you kidding me? Of course I as a person really 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 hate any kind of confrontation so I didn't say anything. Um, however there was always the chance that even if I did say something then they Clearly, they had no care for anyone sitting around them in the first place. So if, if I said anything, I feel like they probably would have just done the same thing, but louder. In which case, I would have made it worse. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave those thoughts there. And to be honest, I'm angry that they felt they had to do that through the whole performance. However, the annoyance I had from them was big. But... The amazingness of the show by far outweighed it, so it genuinely didn't affect how great of a night that I had. And that's down to the amazing performance of all the cast, and just, oh, I was just blown away. It was so, so good. Cannot recommend it enough, but people, please, if you ever go to the theatre, just sit quietly, watch the show. The longest ever time I've had to sit down for any show is like an hour and a half before the interval. An hour and a half is really not that long. You don't need to eat, drink, chat, sing through. Just sit. Enjoy. Nice. Everyone around you will really thank you for it, as will the performers on stage. That is just what I wanted to say about that. 
had some thoughts and I wanted to get them out there. But yeah, welcome to 2018. I was about to say welcome to the 60s then. Songs are still stuck in my head for listening to the soundtrack just non-stop. But um, thank you for listening to my A, thoughts on the show and B, slight rant about the people next to me who really bugged me and <sighs> yeah but yeah I just yeah like I said I waited a good 10 years to see the show live and I was not let down so amazing well done to the whole cast you're all brilliant and it was lovely meeting some of you after the show they were all really lovely if you can get tickets if they're coming to anywhere near you soon go it's so good Thank you for listening and I'll see you in my next video.